Hi there, today we are going to see CV screen scope, CV get text, CV click. So all the computer vision activities we are going to try, okay, couple of them. So yesterday I hope you have enjoyed the computer vision intro video and you have learned a couple of topics. So let's get started. So today let's go to UAPA studio and hope uh, anyone who is new to uh, this video uh, first of all you have to install computer vision okay to get all these activities so the the moment i am highlighting any of these activities it clearly tells in the bold uipath.uiautomation.activities so you go to manage packages okay and hit on all packages and type the exact sentence just now i showed you and you will be able to install okay install that moment after you install all of these activities will appear on your UiPath Studio. All right. So once you do this, the very first rule of computer vision, UiPath computer vision is you have to use the CV screen scope activity. This should be your first activity which should be used because this activity is going to interact with the server and through the API key and analyze your indicated screen. Let's say I am working on a virtual desktop interface or I am working on an image generally where selectors do fail using the normal selectors in the last uh, two weeks I have been teaching on selectors so if I go with the selectors generally it doesn't work on images or doesn't work on virtual desktop interface right so that's where we'll be using computer vision so once who should use when to use one once we are clear about that the next thing Next question is Rakesh, I don't have a virtual desktop. How do I practice? Correct. So that is the same question everybody would have. So let me tell you for practice purpose, simply open the UI demo application. Okay. So you must be having this application in case you do not have search on my channel saying UI path sample applications and download this. So I'm assuming you have this application on your local laptop. So here using this application, we will learn. No worries. Even though it is not inside the virtual desktop interface, if your concept is clear, then let's practice it and learn all the activities. Okay. First activity that we would learn is the CV screen scope activity. Okay. So the CV screen scope activity is the primary activity you have to use. Now this asks a couple of questions. One thing on the right hand side property panel of computer vision screen scope activity it asks for the url so let me show you this is the url of the server where it will go and do that artificial intelligence of it will run that algorithm to see how many uh, elements are there on that uh, screen that you have indicated right so this is the specific url that you have to type once you are done with that then you have to enter the API key. Now API key you will ask how where do I get the API key. So let me tell you the API key you have to log into cloud.uipad.com your orchestrator. Click on admin and then click on licenses. Okay and here you click on other services after you click on licenses click on other services and there your API key if you are for the first time coming over here this will be blank. So click on generate new okay simply click on generate new it will prompt you something that it is going to remove the API key don't worry about that just click on it yes and then your API key will be generated once it is generated simply click on copy API key that's simple correct okay now here in the API key field put a double code and copy paste that's all okay once you have done this one time job so your activity remembers this now now the next thing what I have to do once it is done next I have to indicate where it has to work right so I have to, where I am working so here in our, in our example we will indicate to the UiPath application so let me open the UiPath application and let me indicate this particular application done so once I have indicated it it's going to analyze the artificial intelligence algorithm is going to run okay so that is everything happening by connecting to the server it's going it's analyzing and everything is done okay it's analyzed sometimes if your engine is microsoft ocr or any other engine if 
it gives you any kind of error during this detection process then go with tesseract or try to use some other some other ocr engine so you type ocr you should find lot of these engines which are part of uipath.ui automation activities all these engines would be part of it so if you see all of these engines by default microsoft ocr will be there in case that fails or gives an error go with any other available ocrs so for me tesseract ocr works quite well so i'm going with this one all right okay one this is done the next thing that we have to learn start using the computer vision activities okay so computer vision activities so for that let's start using let's say for example get text okay so cv get text computer vision get text activity we will use all right so here what i'm going to do click on indicate on scope and here i want to let's say retrieve the transaction id okay so the moment i am highlighting what is happening if i am highlighting so that this becomes the target and this becomes the anchor by automatically it is going to do it for you all right so here i want to pass or store this in a output variable so let me create control plus k and say output okay and we want to see if it really working or not right so we have to test it so done now here i'll use a simple message box to check it which is a best method to check any variable values okay and here i would say the output variable all right so i'm saying output variable now once i do this let's run it so what is happening over here um, okay i did not write it completely so let me correct it all right so everything is done so it is using the ocr method and trying to fetch the specific transaction number for us right so let's run it and see if it is really able to fetch the text from the application or not okay so we will be seeing the live example of the get text all right it went there let's see so this will generally take a little bit more time because it is interacting with the server and then coming back and in the community edition the speed will be very very slow so you have to slightly wait okay so you can see nicely it has pulled the 43276 now the next question you'll ask rakesh i don't want only that number i want the entire data not just the 430 it should say transaction has everything okay if that is your ask then again click on edit on screen or indicate on scope let's say and let's keep the application open and here i want the entire thing right so ensure you you know you can also drag and drop select if it is not coming automatically even that is another option let me try again indicate on scope and i want the entire thing right so let me drag like this using your mouse so i'm using a relative to getting it so indicate uh, on scope hit on the shift key to do it manually shift key and then i will select this okay done now once it is selected it is automatically finding it even that way let's see the output so this is the get text activity computer vision activity we are using all right so let's see the output so this will take some time as i said okay let's wait now the entire data should come okay so you see everything has come transaction has to uh, 430 the 2 is not visible here but it was able to pull it 430276 uh, all right so it is it is working now the next thing what i want to do is uh, now in the application let's say i wanted to move to another window so the moment if you see if i'm clicking on deposit there are three different fields mind it okay now if i go to withdrawal there are only two fields and different fields so the screen is entirely different in such cases when you are moving into a separate screen okay you have to use mandatory okay this is again a rule when you are moving on to a separate screen so right now i've analyzed a given screen while it was on the home page right the home page of the application was when you click on deposit this is what the home page of the application right now let's say i want to go here and i want to do something over here then i have to literally walk 
so by default let's say it is blank okay so in such cases how do i work okay so how do i work so what i'm going to do let me first use the cv activity called click cv click and here in the cv click i am going to click on okay enjoying this so if i click on withdrawal okay withdrawal so it is going to click on that done so it will do the job after it does what happens basically your screen is changed so when your screen changes always use the cv refresh activity otherwise your computer vision will not work I remember the second point i said so here what you do when i refresh it it is going to capture the new screen now okay so you can run it directly and do it or you click on it and try to refresh it whatever so during the run also it will refresh once again so once it clicks it will refresh so it has refreshed now what i want is okay now what i want i wanted to uh, let's say type something okay so for type what should i use cv type into right so let me say cv and let me use the type into activity okay and what i want to type let's say i want to type 500 one second yeah all right and here i will click on indicate on scope and i'm going to indicate where should type done done so let's see let's see if it is doing the job properly or not okay let me start running it so what should happen it should first work on this one and then it should go here and do the job so let me hit on run and see how it works right just wait for it first it should show me the transaction this one right all right all right let's wait okay now the transaction has come very good click on okay now it should click on withdraw let me click on okay and leave the mouse okay it clicked on withdraw and now it should type 500 just wait all right you saw that so this is how your computer vision activities will work i hope i've covered all the uh, activities civic click get uh, get text screen scope refresh also type into we have seen okay very good we'll come up with more such activities whatever is needed we'll come up with more videos please continue with us please do subscribe in case you are a new subscriber please um, uh, i mean new viewer please do subscribe to our channel please do like all the videos that you're watching thank you so much we are grateful to you thank you